everybody's got one person in their family or one close relative that is so stupid. It's the one you can't argue with. I knew what, it's the same relative that keeps missing the six o'clock news cause he don't know what time it comes up. I got an uncle that way. They give up my uncle. The bank called him up, told him that his account was overdrawn. So he mailed him a check. His, his dream, his dream in life is to own a two-story mobile home. <laughs> I told him, I said, Uncle Robert, there's no such thing. He says, well, they ought to be for people that's got money. <laughs> anyway, we was over at his house one night watching television. The Muppets had this TV special on. Miss Piggy come on the TV screen, and my uncle said, I bet you that's not a real pig, I just bet it ain't. <laughs> I, mean, I don't care how many degrees you got hanging on the wall, you can't argue with that idiot. <laughs> well, Uncle Robert, I believe you're right about that. <laughs> well, heck yeah, I'm right, let me tell you something. <laughs> I've been around pigs all my life. <laughs> I will say this, I will say this. From the neck up, the whole head. <laughs> that looks authentic. But a real pig wouldn't wear a dress like that. <laughs> He's the kind of guy that brags on his dog all the time. You ever heard somebody say this when they're bragging on their dog, they'll say, he don't know he's a dog. Mm -mm. He don't. He thinks he's one of us. I tell him, I say, you paid $100 for that puppy. Get your money back. He's got brain damage. If he don't know he's a dog, he's going to spend his whole life running around wondering to himself, why am I barking?